Or here's a ruler, and I've drilled some holes in them, see? And one hole at the end there, I can slip over that nail and cut the top off the nail so the ruler will go like this. Now, here are two washers. One I'll place right here on the edge, and the other one I'll place out here like this. When I flick the ruler like that with my hand, the ruler's gonna be jerked out from under this one, so where is it gonna go? It's gonna go straight down. Down, but the ruler will hit that one. Where will that one go? Over, out over there here. someplace. Hopefully I can keep it on the desk. But the important thing is, which one will hit the desk first? I think that one will, because this one will be busy going over here, okay. so it'll take longer. So, you stand over here now and turn on your ears good and loud. You ready? I think both of them did it at the same time. Okay, let's put this up here again. When this ruler is jerked out from underneath him, when this starts down, not like that, <laughs> but when, I, when, when the ruler goes out and it goes down, what's pulling it down? Gravity. Thank you for that. What's pulling this one down when it's going down over here? Gravity. Does it make any difference whether this one is moving? Gravity is still gonna pull down on it, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So why shouldn't they hit the table at the same time? I don't know. It's well, they should, <laughs> <laughs> they should. In fact, that's what you said, and you were right because gravity pulls down on something even when it's moving. Okay, so you can try this at home if you like. Just drill a hole in the end of a ruler, put a nail on it, and get a couple of washers, and you can do a famous scientific experiment.